Hey everyone, this is Rob Scribner, and I'm gonna be going over the new HLG firmware that is coming to the Sony Z150 and FS5 cameras. HLG stands for Hybrid Log Gamma. It's a new gamma curve that is gonna allow you to shoot HDR ready content internally to the camera. So this new gamma curve, it basically retains a lot more information in your highlights, all done in the BT2020 color space. Sony's using this for what they're calling instant HDR. Once you enable and the camera start shooting HDR, it's already in HDR. There's no conversion necessary. So you just shoot, bring it to your favorite editor, Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci, trim it. You don't even need to do any color grading at all. Once you're done, you have a simple basic edit. If you need to do any stabilizing with shots, go ahead and do that. Then what you do is you just output it and it's ready to go. As long as it's displayed on an HDR monitor, it's gonna have that wow pop factor. This is meant for fast turnaround projects. So things with broadcasts, weddings, events, uh, even just low budget where you don't have a lot of time in for color grading, but yet you still need that wow factor. This is a very simple way to do that. You just shoot, edit, deliver, done. The new firmware update adds a picture profile 10 to the camera. So simply just go into your picture profile menu, scroll down to number 10 and enable it and it's ready to go. Inside picture profile 10, if you actually go down to where it says HLG under gamma, you'll notice there's three different types of settings inside there. HLG one, two, and three. HLG one is more for the nighttime style of shooting. HLG two is gonna be more moderate lighting conditions and HLG three, it is more like broad daylight outside type of shooting. Shooting HDR content is slightly different than shooting SDR footage out in the field. When you're out in the field, it's extremely important that you use your histogram and your zebras. The first thing you should do is go into your zebra level one and set your levels to 94, 96% and an aperture level of about 4%. Then go into your histogram settings and turn on your zebra point to on. Now you're ready to shoot. So when you're out in the field and you're exposing your image, reference your histogram and bring all your highlights up to that aperture point. It's okay to go over the line a little bit. There is a little bit of a threshold there, but now you have a reference point for shooting HLG HDR content. Another thing to keep in mind is when shooting HDR content out in the field is that these LCD screens that come with the Z150 and the FS5 are not HDR screens. So they're not gonna display properly. They have a gamma assist inside the camera that will help get you to a ballpark of what it might look like, but your images are going to look overexposed in these LCD screens. I do recommend trying to get an external recorder such as Atmos Inferno, but that way you can plug it in and you can actually see what it's going to look like when it's displayed properly on an HDR monitor. Shooting HLG records to the camera's SD card with the same codec as before the XAVCL. It's the same exact file and container as before, it's just got a different gamma curve to it. So it's already baked into it. Another big question I keep getting with HDR and HLG is, is it backwards compatible? And yes, you can do that. You just need to basically color grade it, bring your levels back down. Otherwise your highlights are gonna look really blown out. But again, that information's in there. So you just gotta work it back down into, into the 709 standards. So to quickly summarize, there's new firmware coming out for the Z150 and the FS5 that's gonna allow you to shoot HDR content via the HLG, Hybrid Log Gamma. It's gonna be adding a picture profile 10 to the camera. You just shoot, edit, and deliver. Minimal editing, no color grading necessary, but you can if you want. Again, when you're out in the field shooting HLG, expose your images with the highlights all the way to the right to the aperture line that you set up on your histogram. Remember, trust the data. And lastly, remember the stock screens are not HDR. Images will look clipped on your screen, but you have to trust the data. I'm Rob Scribner, and thanks for watching.